Hey, how's it going you guys? It's Spork Time over here. Today I've got the greatest rib recipe of all time. It's super simple to do and it makes the juiciest fall off the bone ribs you've ever had. Best of all, you don't have to wait for the weather to comply. You can make this year round because we're gonna do it in the slow cooker. So to get things started, I've cut my ribs making sure they will fit the slow cooker and I'm using a shaker to add my dry rub. The ingredients will be on the website so check the description down below. You know, usually my favorite time of the year is early spring when the weather starts to warm up and that's because I get to break out the smoker and make some barbecue ribs. I love ribs so much I make them about every other week, so when winter rolls around and the weather changes on me, I'm, I'm pretty sad. Well, not no more. Once you've got the dry rub on, it's time to put them in the slow cooker and here's the first trick, do not add any liquid at all. Just add the ribs and close the lid. Set it for four hours on low. Right before the four hours is up, we want to make our barbecue sauce, which means we need to grab the blender and all of the ingredients. Now, I know what you might be thinking, blender, what the heck? I thought this was a slow cooker recipe, bro. Trust me, this extra step is worth it. Toss all of the ingredients into the blender and blend it up. It's super, super simple. This barbecue sauce is fantastic. It's got this great, bold, tangy flavor with a not so subtle kick. Seriously, good luck finding this sauce anywhere. In fact, I would make this recipe just for the sauce. I think it would go well with some traditional smoked barbecue ribs. Uh, check out my uh, secret dry rub recipe. Uh, that video link will be in the description below. So once we made our barbecue sauce and roughly four hours has passed, just pour the sauce into the slow cooker right on top of the ribs and cook for an additional two hours. This will bring the sauce up to temperature and allow the flavors to come out. Plus you're mixing the dry rub that's on the ribs with the barbecue sauce, allowing them to combine and ultimately meld together. Now this step is optional and you could totally enjoy the ribs right out of the slow cooker but if you want that extra level of quality maybe something a restaurant would do I would recommend this extra step. Basically take your ribs out and be very careful because they will want to fall apart on you. Remember these ribs are falling off the bone. Add them to a foil lined baking pan like you see here and then top them off with some of that awesome sauce. Pop them into the broiler for five minutes and then serve them up. So there you have it, lip smacking good ribs. I'm super happy with this recipe and I'm really glad I'm able to bring this to you. If you end up making it, I'd love to see it. Share a picture with me. I always like seeing food pictures. If you have a slow cooker recipe for some awesome ribs, I'd like to hear about it. So comment below. This is Spork Time saying thanks for watching. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I come up with content like this every week and I'll catch you guys in the next one.